formal process to determine whether or not the late Dr. Gertrude Barber should be declared a saint is now underway. Tiara Braddock was at the Barber Center when the announcement was made. That's where she joins us now live with much more. Tiara. Sean, this announcement is just the first step of a very lengthy process to determine whether Dr. Barber is worthy of being named a saint in the Roman Catholic Church. The legacy of Dr. Gertrude Barber, the founder of the Barber National Institute, lives on even after her death. She is now being considered for sainthood in the Catholic Church. It's an honor not only for Dr. Barber, but for all the children and adults that have come through the Barber Center over the years and the generations. And Dr. Barber dedicated her life to serving children and adults with intellectual disabilities, growing a small one-room charity into one of the leading facilities of its kind in the nation. She was a very, very special friend. Very special. John Barber, the current CEO of the Barber National Institute, says his aunt's spirit lives on through the many children she has helped. If you really want to feel her spirit, I mean, walk through the halls here, visit a classroom, you know, go and have dinner with some of our people that live in group homes. If Dr. Barbara is canonized, she'll be breaking many barriers when it comes to this honor. First of all, she's a woman, a lay woman. Um, it'll be the first for the Diocese of Erie and for the city in, uh, of Erie and the state of Pennsylvania. Bishop Lawrence Persico says Dr. Barbara's faith is what moved her to help so many people, and that is why why he opened up the calls for canonization of her. Now, this process could take decades or longer to complete. Following this announcement, a formal inquiry will be launched and review the barber's life, work, and holiness. Sean? Tara Braddock reporting live tonight. Thank you, Tara.